hello friends uh, yeah uh, welcome to the video so in this video what we are going to do is uh, basically convert the XML file the data which is stored in XML data into SQL Server database and if you see here this is the XML file which we have and the report date report title and then all the fields are named as fields instead of different different tags but inside we have field attribute as uh, project but all the tags are referring to field so it's not a little bit uh, standard XML but I think it is uh, showing up in the form of fields and uh, you basically have attributes as ID project and all of this stuff so what we have to do is uh, uh, we have to for parse the data from XML and load it into SQL Server so here what I'm showing here is initially what we have to do I stored this file in this particular folder and then in this particular folder FTP folder and I wrote a uh, SQL XML um, uh, open row set command to convert this into uh, XML format then when I when I query this particular uh, server you know when I query this particular uh, table you you'll see the data which is in the form of XML format so all this data is uh, in the form of XML now then what we have to do is uh, the same file uh, is updated in this particular table now there are three steps we have to do what well, first one is open row set which we have to create an XML format entry in the uh, table and then this is the first step once the first step is done then we need to shred this particular XML data column and sh shred in such a way that all tags are split and updated in a separate fashion so if you look at the shredding table so if you look at the shredder table so this is how it looks like so what we have to do is uh, we basically shred the whole XML tag and then uh, in the form of tags and then so this is how you do it so what we are going to define is we are going to define a temporary table just like third party temp and then I'm going to prepare this document using XML prepare document and then we are if you see the syntax here we are going to declare a variable msg underscore XML and then we are going to read this XML uh, column data into this message underscore XML value so we store in this variable this particular whole tag information and then after that we prepare this using SP underscore XML prepare document and the temporary table which we created is going to have node ID, parent node ID, char characteristic ID, and then child ID, and all these details were stored in this table in this fashion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert in such a way that the parent node ID is stored for the node ID. So how do I get it? So this is how I write a s open XML statement for this uh, at at the rate of x doc. So what XDoc is nothing but if you see here when you're preparing an XML document you give this variable at the rate of at uh, XDoc which is an integer variable this is a handle and then we are going to uh, call this handle in this particular select query so if you see here we are going to call it as select ID parent ID and then local name node type and we are considering when node type is 1 we are saying it as an element and if you see here uh, element and then when node type is 2 then attribute and then uh, we are going to uh, uh, do an open XML by calling this handler here at X stop so in this way we insert all or we shred all the data into this part third party uh, in this temporary table and then you have to make sure that it is uh, removed uh, once it is removed uh, we have to write a remove XML document as well so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this table 
and if you see here I'm going to create this table with this third-party temporary table and I'm going to run it and it's created then after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this um, statement declare statement and I, I'm going to truncate it and from the MKS report app servers I'm going to get the XML whole tag and then I'm going to run this particular insert statement so I just want to show you how uh, the data looks like in this temporary table uh, we have to execute the uh, at the rate of uh, by calling the handler as well so I think I missed it here so I'm going to say declare to you're going to write until here execute SP remove document then I'm going to run it run this again this will truncate the temp temporary table again and then try to uh, update shred the XML whole XML tag so if you see here the temp table is going to have all this node ID parent node ID characteristic ID field name and if you see here attribute and what is the server name and this one all this information and if you see by node ID ascending right I need it from the beginning then it is going to show you here if you see here so this is uh, the block and if you see the XML document, so I'm going to get the ID here as 5373, which the block ID is this one. So this is how we generate the, uh, we shred this particular uh, XML tag into uh, nodes. Then we have to write an update statement so that this update statement is going to update the nodes uh, uh, parent node and the uh, it's going to assign the parent nodes appropriately. So if you execute this, then it is going to um, update the parent nodes appropriately. And then we are going to delete the node number, node type code three. So if you see here, uh, this particular entries will be having all the parent IDs populated. Now again, we are going to update the parent ID based on the element attribute and text. And we go, I went until um, parent 12 but 12 levels lower and I'm going to run this uh, for 12 levels lower and then we are going to see an update here and then you should see all the values populated for uh, so if you see here the, it is shredded basically and if you see these are the critical things which we have here uh, we shred the table in such a way that the tag slash report slash issue and relationships so if you see here my tag is going to say report issue and relationships and here uh, report issue and then we're going to below the issue we have fields column right so we're going to say uh, below the issue uh, we have a report and then uh, let's see so here this is what so slash report so all values are captured this way in this table uh, all uh, tags are shredded in this way this is the best way you can do you can shred the whole XML tag then after that what you're going to do is you're going to basically select select based on each tag so now what I need is I need to capture all this field information uh, uh, all this information into uh, basically uh, I need all the elements uh, which is nothing but this data into uh, the parent IR ID. Now I'm going to write a cursor to populate all the uh, parent server attributes and update this server attributes table. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert into this table, uh, MKS server fields. So these fields are populated with ID, project, name. And if you see the, so here, if you see the XML ID, project name, application name, so I have created a uh, table in such a way that it's going to store in this particular format. So second step is shredding is done. And based on the shredding, what we are doing is we are slowly running, uh, uh, taking each tag. Let's say if you see if I need a relationship, right? So if you see here relationship. So I'm going to select this particular tag relationships and then relationship and it is going to give me all the server name and all these functions and then we are going to achieve in that way all the uh, uh, entries here from the shredder table 
so if you see uh, app server application server fields then you are going to see all the columns here so if you see here this is my project id project application name all these things will be populated in such a way that they fall in place with the id project id and all the stuff so in this way we are going to split uh, parse the xml file and if you see here i'm going to take each tag and there are if you take uh, this particular table and see what are the how many tags are there right so i'm going to say uh, take a shredded table and if you see uh, the uh, let me take a distinct uh, node name path right distinct uh, uh, basically a node name path so what what i will get how many i'll get is uh, if you take a look at this uh, distinct values so there are 14 tags for which you can run your uh, uh, basically you can parse 14 tags into these 14 tags and get all the attributes uh, for all the element uh, all the node type elements okay node type description elements and what we get here is finally we're going to get all the relationships information here so if you see here relationships all this server name and all the stuff so in this way we can parse the whole xml file into a um, lot of um, uh, all the detailed columns which we have in this particular xml file so in three steps we can convert the xml file into um, or load the xml file into sql server first is we're going to convert into an xml uh, uh, call XML column value in, uh, in that particular table and the second step is to shred the data and then third step is to do a data modeling based on the tags so get all the attributes for all the tags hope you understood thanks for watching